Hi Stampin' Friends, it's Tina Shaw from TinaLovesToStamp.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Fairborn, Ohio in the U.S. And if you do not have a demonstrator or a current catalog and would like one, you can get in contact with me through my Stampin' Up! website, which is TinaShaw.StampinUp.com. Dot net. And, and everything that I'm going to do here today when I show you how to make this cute little um, easel card that holds the votive candle, you'll be able to find it on my blog, and that is the TinaLovesToStamp.com, and you'll find all the links in there and the videos, and you will be able to get in contact with me. So um, one of my uh, class members had um, tagged me in a picture of an easel card. And so I thought that that meant that she would like to make one. So I decided to do one for an upcoming class. So I designed this one. Um, of course, I love anything made with the poinsettia stamp set. So here's how it is made. This is uh, 12 inches by four inches, scored at four and eight. This is pretty peacock cardstock and very vanilla because I used the um, brightly gleaming designer series paper that has the um, pretty foil accents in it, the copper accents, which I think is so pretty. And so I, um, just made it so you can put in like the little battery powered votive candle. So that way um, you don't wanna use a flame with paper. That would not be good. But this way, this is so cute and you can uh, mail it as a card. And then of course um, the recipient can add the little votive or you can give them a votive or hand it to them or whatever. So anyway, let's get started. And so first of all, I just want to go over with you all my parts. Like I told you, this one was four by 12 and scored at four and eight. And then of course, go ahead and fold those and use your bone folder, which I did. Then I have a piece of the copper foil and this one is cut at three and three fourths by three and three fourths. Then I have a piece of the beautiful, brightly gleaming designer series paper and this one is cut at three and a half by three and a half and so that one is going to be layered right onto there then i've got two pieces of three and three fourths very vanilla one i decided to put on in the middle and then one is going to be on the bottom and of course on the bottom is the one where i stamped the poinsettia i used cinnamon cider ink pad and when I um, have these two pieces, I use the cinnamon cider ink as well when I stamped um, the little Christmas wishes. So um, anyway, that's, that goes there. And then I've got a piece of Pretty Peacock. And this one is three and a half by one and a fourth. And then this is gonna go down here. And then I've got a piece of one by three and a fourth. And this is the one, you know, that you're gonna stamp on. And so you're gonna pop these up. On this one, I only popped up the, the uh, vanilla piece, but you could pop them both up. And the reason that you're gonna pop it up is because that's gonna be the stopper to hold the easel card up. So let's see. And then I've um, used the largest layering circle die and this one, I'm gonna cut out a piece of vellum because that one I'm gonna glue to the inside on the back after I cut those out. And then I've got the third largest uh, circle die that's, um, I'm gonna glue these two together. And then I want this kind of down towards the bottom right side of the card front. And I'm going to, um, first I'm gonna glue this. So let me show you what I mean here. And it is probably a good idea 
just to glue these adhesive around mostly the edges because you are going to cut out that center. Well, kind of the center. Okay, so there's that. So then I'm gonna put this one here and now I'll go over to my cut and emboss machine and cut that out and I'll be right back. So I cut this out using the um, third largest circle die in the layering circle dies. And then here is the largest layering circle die that I cut out with my vellum cardstock. Now what I'm gonna do is um, put this together how it's gonna be. So the reason I put this in the back in the center, I could have left this just that way, but I decided to lighten it up because it kind of lightened up the glow from the little votive candle, the battery votive candle. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this here so we don't forget what I'm doing. And then this piece, these are gonna go like this. I'm not gonna put this one down yet because I'm gonna stamp it. But this piece right here, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna go ahead and glue this piece onto here. And you'll see now what I will have to do is cut out the card base that shows behind the circle here. Okay, so, I'm, whoops, I want it down on this corner here. Okay, so I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, so there's how that's gonna be. So now I'm gonna go back over to my cut and emboss machine and use the same die that I used to cut this out and go ahead and cut out that back piece. I'll be right back. So here is the piece that I just cut out. And now here is this piece. So I'm gonna take this circle and just apply some glue. I think I'm gonna use my liquid glue and just put this around the circle. And just pop that on there and just give it a little push down like that and then just sit this aside while that dries. Cut out some of the poinsettias, and I'll tell you here how many I have. I cut out the second from the largest size, and these are all in very vanilla. So I have one of that one, and then I cut out four of the next smaller. This is the smallest. You'll need four of these for your card. Okay, so there's those four. And then I have two of these, and you're just gonna move those around. And then you'll put one in the center. And then your other one, you're gonna have just the second smallest. Then I've cut out three small leaves in the copper foil. And then I've cut out two of the sprigs in the Pretty Peacock. So um, before I put these together, I thought it was really pretty to add, I don't know if you can see that shimmer and sparkle, but I went ahead and used my Wink of Stella on all those petals. So that's what I will do now. And just so, yeah, this is the side that has the embossing on it from the die set. I love that die set. I love that stamp set. And as many of you know that have watched my videos, this has been my favorite stamp set this year. <laughs> I love the poinsettias. So I'm not going to make you watch me do all of these. So I will be back after I get all of these brushed and glued together. I have this one all glued together and 
I'm going to show you how I did that. I just take a glue dot and offset these. So this one is going to be in the right corner. And then this one, this one is the largest. It's the only one that has the um, bigger, but not the largest die for the poinsettia. And so all I did for this one was just put these two offset. And I just kind of curl these with my fingers a little bit because um, you can use um, your bone folder if you want to curl them up a little bit tighter, but I kind of like them loose like that. So there's my three poinsettias. So I've got a larger, a medium, and a small one. By the way, I do want to show you I used the Poinsettia Petals Bundle to make this card. Um, I didn't stamp the Poinsettias. I just cut these out with the dies and um, the other little pieces also. And then the uh, words I've used were from Snow Wander, the Christmas Wishes and Joyful Greetings. Love these sets. So here's my card. I think this is pretty dry. That looks good. So now I'm just going to put one, kind of decide where you want it. This one is only four inches wide, so you will have a little extra, I like my ring, <laughs> a little extra room in your envelope if you decide to mail this one. I put the little one down here in the corner. And then I'm putting this one just kind of tucked up into that one. Guess I didn't take the back off of that one. And that always helps. So there's that one. And there's our poinsettias. And then on my little leaves, love these. I always fold them in half right down the middle just to give them a little, um, I guess a little shape to it a little dimension. So I put one over here. And since I put that dimensional in the center, um, I don't have to worry about not being able to get these up in here as far as I want. And there's that one. And then I have one more. I'm just using my uh, Stampin' Seal. I like it a lot. Okay, so there's my little leaves. My little sprigs. And I like to cut these off because they are a little long. And I'm going to put these, since I cut them out, in the pretty peacock over top of the um, copper foil leaves. So here's one more. I'm going to put it right here. And kind of take them over just a little bit over the circle. Okay, so there is that. And then I've also used um, the basic rhinestone jewels and I have taken my bronze blend um, and colored these with this color to make it kind of look coppery I think. I tried doing it uh, with the pearls. I colored the pearls and it I just really like the shine of the rhinestone. And I'm putting the larger one down here since it only gets one. So there's the outside. And now I'm not sure about these copper star elements. If they were in last year or I thought we had some in this year, I will look and see if these are still current. If not, I'm thinking there are other um, star elements that are available right now. 
So I'm just gonna put three of them on here just because I think they are so cute. All right, so there is the outside. I'm gonna stamp my flower towards the top of this piece because the bottom, of course, is gonna have the little, um, the little panels of the words here. So I'm using the cinnamon cider and I'm using this poinsettia stamp from the poinsettia petals stamp set. I use my um, piercing mat because it's a photopolymer set. So I can go ahead and glue this down. I buried my stamp and seal. I'm gonna put this right here. I'm trying, it's trying to stick here. <laughs> Too good. All right, so there we go. And now I'm gonna stamp on this one with the Christmas wishes saying. And so try to line this up. It always helps if you have your little grid right there. There we go, that's pretty good. All right, so now pop it. So I'm gonna put several dimensionals on here because I just really want this to be popped up so it will hold the um, easel part up. It's really, it's pretty easy. Um, I had watched some videos on several other uh, demonstrators on how they made theirs. And I just came up with the easy figure of four by 12. And that way you didn't have to like do a half an inch here and three fourths there or whatever. So I just like things really simple if I can, if I can do it. So almost done. Get this one. Right there. One more. And then I'm just going to attach this at the bottom. Just outline it right there. And then that goes up and sits right there. And there's the two cards. Really, really cute. And of course, here's our little tea light. We're gonna put back in there. See if you can see the glow. It's kind of hard with all my lighting in here too. Anyway, that's the cards. I hope you will try this. Um, it's pretty easy and I think it turned out really cute. You could put whatever um, design you like. You know, the snowmen would be cute. The stars would be really cute. I'm just um, really in love with the poinsettia petal set. So um, let me know what you think of it. If you tried it, send me a picture and make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my blog. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye.